Good morning, Yurt Tube. We are soon to go on the land, and today will be the second and a half day of the build up. It's so exciting. Um, sort of the half of the yurt is already standing, and it's going really well so far. So, check it out. Good day, everyone. It's natural living with marks and sun. Almost all the walls are already put up, as you can see here. And now we're busy currently with the roof poles. And yeah, they're also almost finished. It's looking good. Here we came up with a better idea to really give it the full stability to make these kind of metal pieces to just get all the pipes in there and for it to be a bit more stable and yeah this is how it is looking yes we put all the roof poles there and they are secured with this string here that is pretty tight and as you can see the ring holds these first uh, threads that were holding it in the first place, the black ones, are very loose and the ring is flying by its own. Perfect! At the moment we are working on pulling this tiny cord over here, this black cord, all the way through the canvas in this tunnel that we made. And it's quite some work actually. It really, we have made it all this way so far. But I tell you, it is not the most fun thing to do. Because you all the time have to pull it all the way to there for the threads to go in again. And yeah, we're busy with that at the moment. Check this out, your tube. Oh, F. We just put the canvas over it and look how magnificent the yurt looks from inside. Super large, super spacey, bloody awesome indeed. Good morning, everybody. So, yesterday night we covered the yurt, which is there with the canvas and it looks so cool, cool and so pretty. Um, so we covered it and now we are busy uh, like finishing up some of the parts which is also this part. So what we are doing now is these are the roof poles and we drilled holes in them there and there and what we are doing now is we're pulling the string like in every place and then in between here there will be a layer of insulation so before we put the canvas over it we made uh, we made this so we sew, we sew, we've sewn everything here we've sewn everything in here and here is the rope and so all the way around we can pull it really tight so that the rain falls so that the rain can fall from it and doesn't go in it's perfect and very soon there will be the moment of truth uh, to see if these PE pipes also work worked properly as their as their role to fill the light ring, and we have to see if this will fit the um, the the dome as well. And this moment will arrive shortly, but first 
Max is putting the Hi guys. the string through it so that it's a bit more tight and that the insulation can go in between. I would like to make a statement when there's time and space for that. Yes. There is. Right now? Yes. Okay, your tubers. Listen up, we're so excited about this. It's amazing. It's like a dream coming true for us to yes. see it like this. <laughs> we worked really, really, really hard for a year now to make everything happen, to prepare all the parts. And now in the last three days, it went like push, push, push. Extremely fast. Yeah, it went extremely fast. Up. And we're like, we're so in heaven right now. It's amazing. It's amazing. And it's great that we can share this with you also. Mm. So, woo, it's life. It's now. So what you also see here are these poles that are attached to the wall poles. And this was really a big improvisation technique. <laughs> As you can see, when building up the wall, we had a bit of trouble with bending the, um, the multiplex, um, like the bendable wood, so the wall elements, uh, because somehow they, well, not somehow, because of course uh, on the downside it bended really well, because there was a lot of pressure on it, but on the upside it didn't want to really do much, so the wood was sort of cracking and it was really not so good so then someone i don't really remember who it was i think it was max but i'm not sure he came up with the idea to attach these poles to make sure that actually there is also a bit of pressure up here so and then, of course, the roof poles came, were attached. As you can see, there are two... In, the, in this wood, there are two iron... Is it iron box or steel or whatever? Uh, no, nah, well... What is it? In Deutsch we say blech. I don't really know how uh -huh. it's It's just some sort of metal. Yeah, okay. Really so know. it's like some sort of metal. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we attach this to the light ring and so what the PE pipe sort of did is they when first we had of course not so many of these poles in there so there were I don't know like maybe three or or four in there and then it really looked like an egg <laughs> It started to bend in really weird shapes and we were a bit afraid that it might not work out. But um, then as soon as we really put all the other ones in, it sort of went back into shape. So now it's, it's not perfectly round, but it's also, I think, the most difficult shape to make anyway. It's not perfectly round, but it, it's, it's getting close. And the moment of truth is, of course, when we will put the light ring on there. So, here is actually our door. Our door is not in there yet, but our mat <laughs> is already. Um, and the only reason that this place is still open, it's very practical, but it's not only because of that, but um, it's mostly because uh, this will be where our oven will stand. And we still need to make one wall element uh, where the, the pipe is coming out for the for the oven so that's what we will do and max made this beautiful door or these beautiful windows so that we have a bit more light not just coming from this area here but also from here so the wall pole is attached in a few ways but here's here's this so this is the attachment to the floor and then up here is the attachment from the wall element to the roof pole and that's basically how it's attached and it's stabilized because of these wall elements wow 
what I'm doing here um, at the roof poles is because the canvas is going over it I want to really make sure that these corners are very smooth and that uh, the canvas uh, cannot be uh, ripped here and also here because it goes over and under it in the end I will also cut away this tiny thing here um, and also smoothen it out for it to work. Max is now doing an outside ring that rests on all the wall elements and as you can see it's so sort of the same height or sort of the same broadness as the um, as the sex that we put on uh, the wall um, insulation so we're attaching that now so here we will hang some canvas so that in between there you have some air flowing through and hopefully that will make sure that we don't get any fungi or any moisture in our yurt or also in our insulation and that's sort of the solution we came up with thank you guys for all the nice comments that you that you gave us and uh, we really feel very supported and very motivated to keep on working and yeah thanks a lot to everybody thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe natural livers bye